Okay, here is one more fairly filthy, disgusting knob from the HRO 500 that I've tried to clean. And it came out like this, but it still doesn't look very good, does it? So, again, I'll try the uh, drill method on this guy. See what it will do. So far, two out of two have cleaned up good. You want to get the knobs on there so they don't wobble, but that's kind of hard if you don't have the right bit. I was going to use a drill bit, but this uh, screwdriver thing is better. And I found for dirty ones like this, you apply pressure with your index finger into the knob face. And... Let's see how it turns out. A little bit of craftsmanship, huh? Too stubbornness on my part. Okay, what happened with this one? It looks what? Dirty. Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, look at that. Just like Independence Day, I'm back. When that guy got the jet and he flew it into the alien spacecraft and blew it up. Into the death ray. I'm back. Okay, so a little more. It is pretty well, but I'm gonna do a little more here. A little bit of Yankee ingenuity here, even though I'm not in New England, I'll pretend. All right, that's enough of that. And the results are in. The winner is this knob. the spin marks on it but it's cleaner I don't like the spin marks on it so maybe I went too fast let's go slow and try and grind off the spin marks and the mark in the middle I think that's as good as this knob's gonna get. Looks better. It's not a filthy rascal anymore. All right, I guess there's a few more to do, and that ends, ends the uh, ends the task of the knobs. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.